Today I'd like to introduce the new SMA EV Charger 7.4 or in this case 22, showing how to configure it using the web-based user interface web UI. Now we are already connected to the SMA EV Charger. It is very easy to connect by a wireless Wi-Fi or wired Ethernet. You can dial into the SMA EV Charger directly from your smartphone or tablet or simply log in from your PC. For more details, please take a look into the manual. Once you are connected, you can see this home screen. In this configuration step, you can change the network configuration if required. For this, click on Change the network configuration. However, this is normally not necessary, so we can leave it on automatic configuration. By the way, by clicking on the information symbol, you can open a dialog which provides additional information to exactly this point. So as I said, we don't need to change anything here, so we can simply click on Cancel. Then click on Continue and we will go to the next configuration step. In this configuration step, you do the administrator configuration. Here for instance, you can insert your username. Best document this as well as your password. Please note the shown password guideline. Please also note this password is not intended for the end customer as security relevant settings can be changed. The end customer needs an own user account with limited rights. After commissioning has been completed, such an account can be created on the device's user interface, clicking on configuration and then user administration. Once the registration is done, we click on continue in the bottom right corner. In the next configuration step, you first type in the device name. Then specify if the SMA EV charger should be operated with an energy meter at the grid connection point or without. To use the intelligent functions such as blackout protection, an energy meter is necessary. If the SMA EV charger should operate standalone, remove the tick. But normally the check mark should be set here. Next, type in the nominal grid voltage. The voltage between phase and neutral is relevant. So even in a three-phase 400 volt system, 230 volt is correct. Next, type in the country-specific maximum unbalanced load limit. 4600 watt is relevant for Germany. If there is no unbalanced load limit for the country, the maximum power permitted per phase based on the local conditions such as cable cross-section must be specified here. The SMA EV charger allows a maximum of 7400 watt per phase. Next, type in with which nominal current the house connection is protected. In this case, the house connection is protected by a 32 amp fuse. This information is important for blackout protection, as the SMA EV charger adjusts its charging power depending on this value and thus avoids the fuse dropping due to overload. There is also the possibility to configure a fallback power limitation. In case of communication interruption to the Sunny Home Manager, the SMA EV charger continues charging with the maximum power stored here. Make sure to set a safe value here, which will not overload the house's main fuses. Leaving it at zero will mean the EV charger cannot charge the vehicle in case of a communication disruption to the Sunny Home Manager. The maximum charging power of the SMA EV charger can now be limited. Enter any value lower than the rated power. I choose 11,000 watt here since in this case there is no need for approval by the grid operator in Germany. The circuit breaker for the SMA EV charger in the sub-distribution must match this settings. According to the standard, electric vehicles usually start charging from a minimum charging current of 6 amps. Depending on the connected vehicle model, the minimum charging current can be increased, for example to 10 amps for the Renault Zoe. When the vehicle battery is fully charged, the charging station automatically disconnects from the vehicle and ensures that the scheduling of optional loads is no longer blocked by the SMA EV charger. This is an important option if you have more than one device for energy management connected in your house. PV access power can then be used for further optional loads with lower priority such as a water heater or a washing machine. Deactivate this option. Note that the SMA EV charger in this case may block additional optional loads. In order to avoid blocking other optional loads, but still be able to use the preconditioning of the electric vehicle via the charging station, 
A time window can be defined in which the SMA EV charger is available in standby mode after the vehicle's battery is being fully charged. Now go to next by clicking on continue. Please note that in this next step you have to select the SMA EV charger to receive automatic security and feature updates. Once this is done, click on continue to proceed to the next step. In this step we are searching for speedwire devices such as the Sunny Home Manager 2.0 or SMA Energy Meter. Therefore click on SMA Speedwire Devices. Found Speedwire devices are displayed in this dialog. If no devices are displayed, click on Search Devices. If Speedwire devices were found, like in our case, click on Continue. Now in this step, all the detected devices are displayed. Please select the energy meter of the corresponding Sunny Home Manager 2.0 of your energy system. After that, click on Continue. This now concludes this configuration step and we can click on Continue again. In this step, we can configure the energy meter at the grid connection point. For this, we choose the energy meter as the device and then the appropriate channel as grid feed-in or grid reference counter. We finish this step by clicking on continue yet again. The next step is relevant only if you want to assign a signal source to the digital inputs. The device won't work if this option is activated and no signal is connected. Since in my case no signal source is connected, I skip this configuration step by clicking on continue. Now the commissioning has been successfully completed. Congratulations! Clicking on continue now will automatically take you to the dashboard of the device's user interface.